Howdy. Hola. Hi. As many of you know, we are going into day seven or eight of the protesting and the rioting that was sparked by the wrongful murder of George Floyd. And some of you might be thinking, why is Pastor Melanie still talking about this? Or why is, uh, are some of our other people still talking about this? Well, we spent almost two months talking about the COVID and its effects on our lives. And hate and the hatred and the, and the evil that, and the disparity that we are seeing right now is so much more deadly than the COVID. It has both earthly and eternal consequences. So I wanted to share a few things today. Um, a lot of you may be asking, I know many of you have asked, what can I do? during this time of unrest within our country, within the world, in regards to racial relations and destruction and rioting. And I would like to offer you all uh, some biblical principles that you can carry on, not only in this situation, but you can carry it on through the ages and even on into eternity because what I want to share with you today is actually not my thoughts, it's God's thoughts and they are His words. And so uh, it is truth and it is eternal. The first point I want to share with you is John 13, 34, which states that we are to just simply love one another, no matter who they are. Matthew 5, 44 says to love your enemies, no matter who they are. Galatians 3, 28 points out that we are to treat everyone as though all are one in Jesus, because we are all one we all are equal at the foot of the cross and finally galatians 6 2 tells us that we are to bear one another's burdens and by doing so we are fulfill the law of christ we should care about what we are all going through and so I know that many of you have already been doing these things and let's just continue to do what's right in the eyes of God by loving each other, loving our enemies, treating everyone as though they were equal and bearing one another's burdens. Do not be weary during this time and doing well, even though it may seem hard, even though there may be some internal conflicts, don't, do where, don't be weary in doing well, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.